composer John Barry talks about his musical career in the cinema. I mean, music doesn't come from nowhere. It comes from it comes from an inner, inner person. Good evening. Now, though, for John Barry, the gifted composer of some of the most memorable film scores of the last 25 years. He first came to prominence with the music for From Russia With Love, and in fact his CV includes ten of the Bond themes, along with much else. He was in London recently, and Katie Derham went to chat him up. piano playing you probably did recognize that tune as born free but it is one of those pieces of music where you probably know the tune but you couldn't possibly name the person who wrote it however the person who did write it John Barry is Britain's most successful film score composer he's not only sold millions of records worldwide he's also won five Oscars for his music one for the lion in winter one for out of Africa for dances with wolves and two for born free add to that the fact he wrote most of the James Bond themes and he got a pretty impressive track record. The thing that fascinates me is how on earth, as a musician, you go about actually composing a score for a film. I mean, just talk me through the process a little bit. Well, it's something you either have an aptitude for or you don't. I mean, it's, that's basically it's something that I've always wanted to do. I always did want to do. Um, and it's really uh, hopefully having a flair for musical drama and being attracted to various stories. You read the script first and say, yes, this is something that interests me. Then one meets with the director and finds out that if you're on the same beam, you know, you're hopefully making the same movie. Uh, there are no real schools about how you become a movie composer. Um, I had the greatest school, which was that my father owned uh, eight theatres. So that from a, being a child, I was brought up watching movies and could work in the projection booth and read it when I was 12, 13 years old. So that was, that was my school, which was a terrific school. I mean, music doesn't come from nowhere. It comes from, it comes from an inner, inner person, and it's your your estimate of what that is about, your feelings as to what that is about, that hopefully gives it some kind of uniqueness. I remember when I first started to work on Out of Africa, Sydney said, I, if, if, if I don't get the right music for this movie, he says, I'm dead because it's, it's, a, it's a very non-narrative piece. Uh, it's people's behavior. Uh, it's not a story, there's no car chases. It's, it's, uh, and the music has to really have an emotion and a sympathy for these people. With Dances with Wolves, with Kevin Costner, it was his first movie as, as a director and producer. And that was, uh, there was a, a nine and a half music in that movie, it was a three hour movie. So, obviously the initial thing is that the, the, the dramatic intention of the score is accurate, that you, you're serving the drama well. That's the number one thing. But it also has to be entertaining. James Bond themes, they must have been a lot of fun to work on. Yes, they were. Anything went. They were a lot of fun. It was a highly stylized piece of uh, filmmaking. And um, it was all style. You know, the whole thing was 
were styled from, from Ken Adams' design, from Maurice Binder's uh, titles. Um, it, it, it was highly stylized movie making of, 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 of the finest sort. Harry Saltzman, God rest his soul, he hated Goldfinger. I mean, he just hated the soul. Cubby Broccoli and uh, Guy Hamilton said, look, we don't know whether it's a hit or not a hit, but it certainly works for the movie. Goldfinger. I think Shirley just sang the hell out of that song. I mean, nobody else could sing it. I mean, when you think of what that song was about, it's about a villain, but she, she made it so convincing. A cold finger. I, I love themes. Some movies are based um, on the kind of textual scores, but I, 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 I've always thought that if, if, you can, if you can ring the bell, as it were, with, um, with a theme or a group of themes or a thematic structure of maybe four or five ideas, um, it's, it, it's a terrific way to go with a movie. It's a very rich place for a composer to be because you work on things that normally you would never attempt as a composer. That's the one thing that I love about it. I mean, you stretch yourself by the things that you are offered. And so it's a, I think it's a, it's a terrific place for a composer to be today. bit of piano playing Katie but don't call us we'll call you now the